Guys, it's growing, like for real growing. And look at all these twisty, turvy, curvy, little, making their way in the world today. Green beans growing on up. A package from Haas Tools. And I open it and look at this. Coghill Farm and Haas on the same exact package. Look at this, sunflowers. I have been watching the Cog Hill Farm, Jason and Brooke, grow these amazing sunflowers. And now they sent us some, or maybe Hawk sent us some, I'm not sure. Let's read Row by Row, the garden show. Oh, okay. So there must be a garden show that happens Thursdays. I get it, they have a YouTube channel. Cog Hill Sunflower Collection. Well, you know what this means. We gotta grow it. It's time. Flowers are coming in hot. Speaking of hot, it's hot in Texas. It's about mm, 98 today. I'm melting a little. It's fine, it'll be fine. I'm all a wreck. Look at this. My pearls are backwards. I've been working outside. There's actually dirt creases. Okay, we gotta, let's focus on other things right now. What I was going to show you is I opened up this tin and check it out. Things that I didn't know. Yellow sunflowers. Oh my gosh, look at this. I didn't know there were a thing. I had no idea this was a thing. White. Didn't know that. Would have probably called this a daisy. Then, huh, premium garden seeds. What exactly is in this? Oh, a dwarf sunflower. What is that? And a chocolate cherry sunflower. Do you eat this? I don't know. But I bought two tiny little planter boxes because I don't know anything about sunflowers and my mom's not here. And well, uh, Lester doesn't relay things to Jason the right way because you know when men talk, they're like, how do you do this? And then they probably give very detailed instructions, but it's just like in a game of telephone. What comes back to me is put it here and that's it. No other instructions. So on here, it tells me a half inch deep, four to six inches apart, and my rows have to be three inches apart. So I could, I could put probably three or four in there, two rows of three or four, maybe. So I have to be strategic about my colors. Let's go do this. I got some other garden stuff to show you too. Uh, hold on. This is just as exciting because, well, it's me and I can't grow anything. And suddenly, suddenly, wait till you see this. It's growing, like for real growing. And look at all these twisty, turvy, curvy, little, making their way in the world today. Green beans growing on up. How awesome is this? Do you remember, okay, the show was like, maybe it was Strawberry Shortcake, where some of their, some of their, like, I think it was one of their villains actually had, like, vines for arms and legs. Well, I hope my green beans aren't villains, but makes me nostalgic. Also, look at my peas. Now, my peas aren't as, like, trainable, because here I was putting all these things just to try to get them to attach. And look what they've done. They're attaching to each other. Guys, it's cool to be friends and all, but why can't you just like grow up instead of side, they're like growing sideways. So we're gonna have a better plan for that next year. Regardless, look at my zucchini plants. Oh. Okay, my tomatoes. So far they're green, which I know that's how they start, but the bottom leaves are wilty. So I read a little bit and they told me to pinch off the rest of the bottom because all the nutrients needed to go to the top. I did those things. My cherry tomatoes are happening. Do you see? Look at those little bitty babies. But this, this y'all. We're gonna be having squash in like a week or two, I think. Look at how big and beautiful these babies are. Get off of there, bug. These are not for you. No, sir. No bugs. We have no bug rule around here. So that 
curving up. What are you gonna do with that? I like the straight ones better, for the record. Okay. I'm hoping that I'm beating Jake on the cucumbers. It feels like I am. I just pulled some of these up because they were like leaning and laying down in here and covering other things and I've been breeding and they needed to, they needed to reach out and touch someone or something in this. So they're all, they're all in the right direction now. Those peppers, I don't know what they're doing. They're a little yellow. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about my idea there. I think I might have to cut out the bottoms of the shoes and rough up the dirt in here so that the roots could actually go down into the real garden. I mean, it was good, but yeah, I'm not sure. And there's something else growing up in there. Okay, this is also cool. I know you can't see them too well yet. Look at those little dangly berries right there. Those are my future strawberries. Now, I really will be sad if I only get two. Four, three. <laughs> Gonna need to improve the strawberry patch. So far, looking like a strawberry snack and not so much a patch. Now, carrots. My carrots are growing pretty well. I actually came out here a couple days ago and I thinned them out. However, as I'm looking, I think that my cucumbers might have been covering a few because this bunch looks way too crowded now. And that was, I did not see this the other day. So I'm gonna have to, I'm sorry, y'all gotta go. And I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to transplant those. Maybe, that, not that one. I just, this one right here, not so good. Those two probably can still transplant. But still, I don't know how they got so close. I don't like that. But they're not gonna grow right if they stay too crowded. I know, I've learned, and y'all should be proud because next year, I'll thin up my own dang cucumbers. My cilantro, actually used that in dinner last night. Uh, my mint, yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna have some mojitos coming up pretty soon. I gotta make a trip to the store to get a few things. I don't own any simple syrup. I don't even know what that really is. Maybe I can figure out how to make some. And, my basil came back, I promise you. I swear on the Bible I did not go and purchase new. These are the same plants. I have learned they do not like water. They actually appreciate less water. And I thought that maybe, you know, like some of you said, it's too much sun, it's too much sun. It is actually the perfect amount of sun. It really enjoys sun. The ones that are in the shade are actually doing worse. Sorry, my zucchinis are a little out of control. I do have one question though. How come my squash already have squash on them, but my zucchinis don't? Is it because the squash was actually a plant to start? Or because, and these were seeds? Or am I indeed too crowded? Now I do see blooms on here. There are a total of uh, four plants in that area. And that area is about a four by four area. And this is my watermelon. Look at it creeping out here coming onto the ground so pretty and my dill I love dill now here's something weird my spinach not doing so spinachy like I think every time it gets just big enough something's eating it I mean it's a it's not a not a giant deal but I would like to get better at growing spinach and lettuce and things but this not spinach I actually think that the broccoli has come back from last year Remember how we had to rip out the roots and till this all up and that those giant plants were in here in the beginning? Those were broccoli. I, somehow it's come back. And it's taken over my spinach spot. My spinach garden, totally jacked up. But my pepper plants look pretty dang good. And like I said, there's my little bitty, my first little green pepper right there. All by himself coming in. So cute. Yeah, I'm weird. I know. I've crossed I've crossed into the weirdness of of like talking to my plants and singing to them and yeah. But I did thin out my banana peppers the other day. They're looking much better and they're pretty small, but that's okay. Uh that can be a fall thing. Those will, those will just take longer to grow. 
So no fruits of my labor per se just yet, but I just wanted to show y'all that's the update. Now, we, we have got some sunflowers to plant. Okay. So these are the planters that I bought. I stopped at the Home Depot today. So we're gonna do one, two, three. I wonder if these are like sunflowers. You know how you eat sunflower seeds? Or I eat sunflower seeds. I wonder. Okay, that's good. Let's cover those up. <laughs> I wonder what these taste like. Yes, I'm a weirdo. Okay, so those were the chocolate cherry sunflower seeds in the front line. And now I think we're going to put in lemon sunflowers behind it. So that this will look like a maroon and yellow. And I'm going to stagger the seeds in the back, kind of like you do in a cookie cutter or cookie cookie uh, cookie sheet when you're baking cookies. Okay. So this box is about eight inches deep and about uh, three foot wide. So I should have plenty of room to do these two rows in here. Yeah. It's too hot. It's too hot. I can't. Summer is here and the season of ponytail is here. Sorry, I tried. Now we're ready. Okay, I think we're gonna go with plum and something called white knight. And look, seriously, seriously. How neat to have a piece of Cog Hill Farm here at Longhorn Lester's. And then I wonder, are the flowers that will grow able to produce seeds that we can also pass along? So can I pass those on to my mom? Can I pass them on to my grandma? Can I pass them on to you all? I have some research to do. I am a melting disaster, even with my hair up today. But uh, y'all, I have found some peace in this gardening thing that I didn't know that I would find. And I'm really excited about that. So thanks to Haas Tools. I will check out your videos on Thursdays. Um, it's good that they're not on Tuesdays because we can't be messing up with Time Out Tuesday. <laughs> just teasing, I'm just teasing. I could watch them later. I know, I know. No, but, and thank you to Coghill for the work that they're doing. I have learned so much from Jason and his gardening. Don't tell Lester, don't tell Lester. I spend, I spend more time watching Jason than I do Lester. Don't, don't tell Lester. <laughs>